Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for being here. Really do appreciate it. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, a lot of content and a new project coming soon. So uh, more on that in just a moment here, but uh, let's get right into the vlog. Uh, first and foremost, if you've been here for a while, thank you so much. If you're new here, hi, Matt LaMarche, uh, Atlanta real estate advisor and uh, husband and father and friend and Porsche enthusiast and all of the things. But uh, a lot to catch you up on. It's been a little while actually since I filmed some content because I just needed a break from all social media. Have not done anything on Instagram or Facebook or really anywhere for a while. So it's been really nice though. Um, kids are off of school for the summer. So um, camps and whole different world for the next like two months but uh, it's good because I need a break honestly like this first quarter was crazy April was nuts May was bananas and I just need a break um and still doing business obviously but like not at the uh intensity we have been for the first six months of this year <laughs> it's been nuts uh, but anyway a couple little projects here around the house to catch you up on one big project announcement hopefully maybe later this episode maybe next episode. I don't know. We got to figure out some timing, of course. Uh, but one quick thing here that we've been doing, um, uh, let's see, yesterday, a couple days in the past, we just got back from the beach, a wonderful weekend. Charlotte and Hilton had went to visit my brother, uh, my brother and sister-in-law in Charlotte for a couple days and had a great time with them and then went to the beach. So, uh, anyway, but yeah, yesterday, uh, because of one of our other projects that we're going to be tackling back there, uh, we moved these four, one, two, three, and four, 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 uh, trees over here because they were in the backyard next to our fence and they were not doing all that great. Uh, they were getting full sun, but, and I know it takes about a year or so. Um, but these are, uh, emerald green arborvitaes, uh, different, but similar than these Leland cypresses better because they're more dense so they stay smaller like they don't get six or eight or ten feet in diameter they get like three or four or five um but they grow tall like 15 10 to 15 feet somewhere in there so they should get up to you know somewhere in here or so but just wanted to break that up a little bit more and i needed somewhere to put these because uh where they were is not going to work for our next project which again we'll talk about shortly here at any rate though um a lot of uh, spring cleaning and uh, just little projects that, you know, kind of build up <laughs> over the course of time. Uh, we got our new driveway done, so I had to pour some soil in here along the edge. Hold on one second, I'll flip you back around. All right, so right there along the edge of the driveway. Um, the concrete guys. When we got the second half of the driveway from the street up to the new ist version of our driveway, um, left like a little two to three inch gap in places and the sod just or the grass just hadn't quite filled in there yet so we just put put some topsoil down a little bit of sand in there to kind of level it off so that when i'm mowing i just go straight transition there's no like hump or you know anyway we're real mowing now so uh we'll talk about that in, in a little while here more about you know what all we've been doing with that but uh so just a lot of little little tiny projects that have been kind of adding up uh, because of this bigger project that we want to try to do and um, in order to do these things ooh, uh, we had to do other things well this is pretty sweet I think that's frozen berry that's awesome I guess I should probably get to know that neighbor a little bit better <laughs> uh, anyway so a lot of little projects just kind of finished up also I didn't show it to you at least I don't think it made it in here but uh, one of the last, I don't know, two or three episodes ago, uh, was replacing our mailbox. It made it all of mm, three months before someone else hit it and, uh, basically destroyed it. The door would not close or open. And, uh, yeah. Now, fortunately they did leave a note, which is great because at least we, there was some accountability to it. Have not gotten paid yet. So we'll see if that ever, ever happens. But at any rate, uh, I just appreciate the thought, honestly, because... So many people now just destroy things and don't even care. So uh, anyway, I got to head into the office for uh, a couple hours here to um, to work and to um, meet a couple new recruits that we're trying to get over to uh, the Ingle and Walker's brand, which I've been working a lot on. We have 22 or 23 agents, advisors, advisors now. Um, 
and working on getting up to like 40 or 50, hopefully by the end of the year. But Kristen Skibby, our managing broker, has been doing a phenomenal job of that. And so, yeah, that's a lot of the reason I needed a break from social media was because of the new level of work that we're doing just in a different way. So, uh, let's see what else. Um, let's see this, this, uh, this first quarter has been amazing for, um, business. We had one, two, three, four, three, three buyers, five sellers, I think, but these deals, holy moly, they've been tough. Real estate market's just getting weird now. So anyway, into the office. All right, so uh, it's now 11.15. Out for, well, I had a couple quick meetings and then um, out to uh, do a little virtual showing. I have a client moving from Fresno, California. It's still happening pretty regularly, actually. <laughs> I've got some folks moving from New York that are landing here in a couple weeks as well. So the buyer side is really busy right now. You know, interest rates being a little bit higher than they were contextually for the last couple of years here. But on average, pretty historically average, um, you know, not crazy high. Uh, not crazy low, of course, but honestly, this is when some really smart moves are made because A, your competition is a buyer's low. Not many, everyone's looking at the interest rate going, eh, it's too high. I'm going to have to pay, my monthly payment's going to be, yeah, but then you can go refinance or you could sell this house and, you know, probably make money in a couple of years anyway. Uh, this is a really good time for buyers. And obviously if you're looking to buy, like if you're, if you're not even considering real estate, then yeah, don't waste your time or mine or anyone else's for that matter, because it is, it is a waste of time if you're not actually going to buy something. But, um, this, this home here, 1.1, well, 1.1 million, 1.1 million dollars, uh, here in Roswell, just off Magnolia, about, I don't know, a mile from, uh, like downtown, uh, Roswell Canton street area. If you're familiar with the area, uh, really, really nice. So finished basement, full kitchen down there. Perfect for entertaining. I mean, amazing, but anyway, gotta get back to the office. Gotta do a couple more things here. I've been off for a week. So trying to catch up from, uh, you know, all the vacation things, but anyway, uh, we're going to get this, uh, the rest of this day going and, um, I'll, I'll probably like insert some of the video here without my voiceover for my client on uh, that house that we're looking at. Beautiful property though. Um, really, really, really nice. And it's been, um, kind of hard to find a property like this. that's move in ready. They've done, you know, a lot of the, uh, renovations that my folks would do anyway. So to have that stuff done, especially at this price point, it's really hard to find right now. So Anyway, let's get back to the office. Let's finish up some work. And then uh, I got a surveyor coming out to the house. So we'll probably show you a little bit of that, what we're trying to do for this big project. But uh, yeah, back to Sandy Springs.